Ginger Lynn Allen? That's my whole name. Is it? Yes. Rockford, Illinois. That's, oh, place. <laughs> that's a nice place to grow up. Born there? Raised? Born and raised. I left when I was 19 and came to Hollywood to be a star. 19? Mm -hmm. But not adult star, uh, not films. You wanted to do regular movies, right? Or whatever. When I, when I left Rockford, that was my initial intention, yes. Ginger Lynn Allen born on December 14, 1962 is one of the most recognized stars of adult films, who has gone on to noted roles in a number of major motion pictures, hailing from Rockford, Illinois, in 1982 Ginger moved to California, becoming her grandfather's caregiver after his heart attack. Soon after Ginger answered an ad for Jim South's World Modeling Agency in September of 1983, where she would quickly get hired for shoots in Penthouse, Club, Hustler, and Cherry Magazines. My parents, they want you to come to their party tonight. Well, they do, huh? What's wrong? Come on, don't you see? The only reason they want me at that party is to show you that this low-life drifter doesn't fit in with your life or your friends. It's not bad at all. They like you. How can they like me? I'm totally different from them. I represent everything they're not. I don't think I should go. Tom, please. If you won't go for them, do it for me. Because I want you there beside me. All right, I'll go. But don't expect them to accept me. I don't trust them. You worry too much. See you tonight. Uh, the party starts at 8. Bye. By December of 1983, Ginger was approached about going from adult photo shoots to adult films, her first being slide reels, but then she made her first film Surrender in Paradise. Well, actually, when I went growing up, I always wanted to be an entertainer. I used to put on little shows in my garage and dance and sing and entertain the neighborhood. And I came to California on a vacation, never went home, uh -huh. called home, said, sell my car. And I, I at that time, didn't really think I was going to be an actress. I had a normal job. I worked for a record store. And I answered an ad in the paper for modeling. And the next day, I shop at Penthouse. Uh -huh. And people approached me for about six months wanting me to do adult films. And, and you know, I'm from Rockville, Illinois. At that time, I, I had thought I would never make an adult movie. But as I met the different people in the industry, and I saw the scripts and the sets and, uh -huh. and all the n wonderful people, my, my impression of the industry changed, and eventually I started... Blow this joint. Well, wait a minute. I mean, the, the party hasn't even begun yet. We, we got to stay like at least a half hour or so, huh? Eh? Why don't you show me where to park then? Oh, I love the way you talk. <laughs> Come on, baby. First, what was your very first? The very first film was Surrender in Paradise, and we shot in Kauai, in uh -huh. Hawaii, so it was a wonderful experience, you know, it was beautiful girls, beautiful men, beautiful scenery. One of the things that sets Ginger apart from other adult starlets is her looks and acting abilities, she can easily be the wholesome girl next door or the glamour queen of your dreams. This was also the time where women had to rely more on their natural appearance, and not the amount of surgical enhancements that started in the late 80s and 90s. What does a girl, I mean, prepare, how do you prepare yourself for the day of shooting, uh, to do an adult <laughs> film? I mean, um, what's in preparation for it? Yeah. M&M's were my secret. <laughs> <laughs> Other than smoking and her candy craves, Ginger has maintained a pretty healthy lifestyle, including aerobics and yoga, 
Ginger would even...